Welcome to uh, Maths with M's. So we're going to continue our discussion on calculus. And today we're going to look at gradient from first principles. That means gradient on a curve at one point. Or you can also say gradient of a tangent line. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, give me a huge like. If you look at the sketch, for instance, you can see that the, the points A and B, that will be gradient between two points. But as the distance between A and B becomes smaller and smaller, the line starts moving down until it only touches the graph at A. Now we're dealing with a tangent line. The gradient of the tangent line at A is also called the gradient of the graph of F at the point A. In the diagram which follows, as point B approaches A, that means B moves down towards A, the value of H, that is the distance between X, the X values of the point tends towards zero. So the gradient of AB will therefore be changed and it will approach the gradient of the tangent line at A. So therefore, the limit of H will approach zero. So we can represent this scenario in the form of a limit. Remember, you remember from the previous lessons, the f of x plus h minus the f of x over h was the gradient between two points. Now, if you add the limit as h approach zero, then we are dealing with what we call gradient at a point on the curve, or we can also call it gradient from first principles. Of course, we can also call it the gradient of a slope of the tangent line at any point, or we can say gradient of the slope of the function, or we can also talk about the instantaneous rate of change, or we can use the word the derivative at the point of f. If we look at the parabola, then you will notice that if the graph is increasing, the gradient of the tangent is positive. That means the derivative is greater than zero. Don't forget now, derivative is gradient at a point. If the graph is decreasing, then the gradient of the tangent is negative, or you can say the derivative is less than zero. And at the turning point, the gradient of the tangent is zero, or we can just say the derivative is equal to zero. If you look at that sketch we have there, then note the symbol, the derivative of A, or we can, you can also say F prime A, represents the gradient of the tangent to a curve at the point where X is equal to A, as well as the gradient of the curve itself at the point X equals to A. Now remember, M stands for gradient. So the symbol, the F of A, represents the Y value of the function at the point X equals to A. Right, let's look at our first example. Find from first principles the gradient of the F of X equals to 3X at any point. So the solution is, we know that the graph of y equals to 3x is a straight line with a gradient of 3. By using first principles, we can verify this fact. So step 1. Write down the formula for finding gradient from first principles. So there you are, write down the formula. And then we are going to substitute first the f of x plus h into 3x. And then we're going to substitute x into 3x. And then you'll end up with 3 times x plus h. And, other, and if you remove the brackets, you get 3x plus h. So there you are. So the f of x, or the other, the derivative of the limit as h upon 0 is then 3x plus 3h minus 3x over h. Then your, your 3x and negative 3x will cancel. It will 
always cancel. In other words, number terms without H will always cancel. And then, of course, your H will cancel, which we would like because H cannot be zero. Remember that. Then the limit of three, which is a constant, is three. Look at the next example. Find that from first principles, the gradient of the f of x equals to 3 at any point. Now we know that the graph y equals to 3 is a horizontal line with a gradient of 0. By using first principles, we can verify this. So write down the formula in step 1, the formula for gradient. Then again, substitute uh, first x plus h, which of course is equal to 3. So there you are. It is 3 minus 3 over 0, which is the limit as h equals 0 of 0 over h, which is the limit of 0. And of course, the limit of a constant is the constant. Therefore, hence, the grain of the horizontal line is 0. Right. So A, find from first principles the gradient of the f of x equals to y minus 3x squared at any point. Hence, then find the derivative at x minus 4. And then what is the gradient of the tangent at x equals to 5? So again, what is step 1? Write down the formula for first principles. And then again, replace x with x plus h. And then secondly, replace x with x itself. And then you'll end up with, if you remove the brackets, 1 minus 3x squared minus 6xh minus 3h squared. Then in step 3, substitute the expression for the f of x and the f of x plus h into the formula and then simplify the expression and evaluate the limit. So you do your substitution, remove the brackets, collect your like terms. Remember again, all terms without h will cancel. Then you take out h as a common factor, cancel your h, which you would like it to happen. Then, of course, the limit of negative 6x is negative 6x, and the limit of h is 0. Then, since the derivative of x is negative 6x, we just basically substitute x with a negative 4, and therefore the answer is 24. And in c, Again, replace x with a 5, and the answer is negative 30. Right, I will advise you to look at the examples I've given you. Please work through them so that you can get familiar and used to using the formula for derivative by first principles. Don't forget to give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Ahmed Suleiman, speak to you in the next video.